Uh, I've been in this business since um, February 2016. That's about eight years now. Yeah, eight years. I wasn't really doing much at the time and um, I had an option to go for either makeup artistry or fashion. And I have a big sister that is already in the fashion industry. And she told me, said, girl, what you need now is fast cash. At your age, if you have to start fashion and um, start being a fashion designer, you're going to take it you're going to struggle for a while before you even get some balance why not go for makeup artistry and i said okay yeah i'll go for that and then um, i joined a free class for two weeks it was a free training um and i started my makeup job from the first week it was a two weeks training and i started from the first week where i had to you know work on a bride and from there it's been helping me like i could say that makeup artistry had been paying my bills Yes, it comes with a lot of challenges because um, you have to be very careful when it comes to makeup job because we interfere directly with our clients. You know, you might get a referral from somewhere and you don't even know if you should go or not. Why? Because you don't know if it's safe. You don't know if it's a scam. You know, there's a lot of challenges and a lot of stories out there about makeup artistry, but in all, we still push. So for me, the challenges I've had is, you know, building that strong. Well, it takes a lot, a lot of social media investments, one-on-one -on -one investments, you know, and all of that. But um, there are still challenges, but we're scaling through gradually. Yes, we are. I won't say I'm already made in the makeup industry. It's a journey for me, and I'm happy to walk that journey. So um, in 2021, yeah, I had to close down my makeup studio because I was pregnant for my baby and I couldn't, you know, really run the studio. And even at that time, I was still unable to, you know, you know, let me say, furnish my studio to the kind of taste I want. So now, um, going through my maternity leave and everything, I'm ready to get back into the studio. But believe you me, I can't even start now. Why? Because if you see the kind of investments makeup artists do in their studio, it's not a child's play. So for me, I'll still say funding is a challenge. But it's something I know along the line, as time goes on, we're still growing, we'll get there, we'll scale through. So it's, it's, it speaks to me and it speaks to a lot of makeup artists because if you can't make your studio um, conducive for your clients, trust me, they won't come. They won't come. So funding is, as, you know, it's a major issue in the makeup industry that it takes a while to build. Looking good is serious business. Yes. And um for me, I think it's because, um, you know, the appearance, the first appearance um, in this part of the country we are in, in this part of the world, rather, that we're in, it's a major, people use that as a criteria sometimes to judge you, yes. Now, you see people going to the mall, have makeup on, wearing their best clothes, and you're just going to the mall to get some groceries. That's just the way this part of the country is. But in the um, developed country, you don't see anybody trying to impress, make up, wear high heels, going to the mall. No. So I think um, because of this part of the world we're in, we, we, we um, put a lot of importance, we attach a lot of importance to um, our outlook. So I think for ladies in this part of the country just like a basic for them it's just something that they want to do something that they have to do in order to be perceived as okay i like the way you look you look good and all of that so i think it's just about where we are for now silk drip we are just we produce only lip products so we have lip prep products lipsticks and lip and lip glosses um back then before i started um producing my own um lip lip products I used to have breakouts on my lips. It might sound funny, but it's the truth. Whenever I use cheap products, cheap brands, like they back then they were 100 naira, 200 naira. Whenever I use them, I have rashes on my lips. But whenever I use the high brands, like, you know, um, something that costs like 1.5, you can imagine 1,500 naira to 100 naira. I won't have any breakout. My lips will be fresh. Sometimes when I give out my the cheap product to someone else, they don't have any breakout on their lips. So right from then, I started investing in good lip products. So um, one of my motivation for Silk Drip was to it was to provide quality yet affordable products to women out there. You know, so you are spending um, an average amount of money for something good. So that was what that was my um, motivation for 
silk drip and also of course we'll still diversify into other products along the line but another thing that motivated me into starting my makeup line was that i wanted to do something special on my birthday i didn't just want to I didn't just want the birthday to pass. I wanted to do something memorable. And you know, the idea that came was for me to start my makeup line. So I had to sacrifice doing a big photo shoot, spending money on my outfit, and invested the money into starting my makeup line. So it, silk drip is really precious to me. Yes, it is. So I won't um, do this session without talking about my brand manager, which is my elder sister, Victoria Olairaju. Um, she has been a blessing to me. Um, when I wanted to start the makeup line, she, she was already vast in the knowledge of branding and all of that. And um, she put me through how to, you know, um, source for the products and all of that. So I spent sleepless nights doing my research. It was a whole lot of research. Um, I've never had a migraine in my life before. During this process, I had a migraine. In fact, when it happened to me, I didn't know it was a migraine until I explained the symptoms to a friend that she said, Tito, this is migraine. I had to sleep for three hours before I could get my senses together. It wasn't, a, it wasn't an easy one. I had to go to the eye clinic. I started using glasses just because of this research. So it's a lot of work. And that's because it's it's a baby. And you know, like we, we've talked about earlier, funding is not so easy. So I was doing everything. I was the one researching. I was the one getting the contact. You know, it wasn't easy. So it, the stress was a lot on me, but I'm glad it's, you know, finally went through. We were able to have our product launch, you know, and it was a really wonderful one. Um, so far, the journey has been, yeah, let me talk about funding. Funding has been an issue because for now, we are in a stage where I use my personal investments to do the business. So I don't have external people supporting me financially, which is fine. And I'm happy about that because it will help my story in the long run. I'm not trying to um, pace up myself or maybe compare myself with the bigger brands out there. No, I'm taking it one step at a time. And now um, the world has gone, you know, digital things are easier. So sourcing for products is was a little bit um, um, easy for me because, you know, there, there are ways you could get finished products, send your specifications, do one or two things. And in the end, you still get fantastic results. And for the branding, yes, it was a lot because that would lead me to the part where I, where I have to say I worked with friends and families. Yes, yeah, it's not it's not easy doing business with friends and family, but that's what helped me. For instance, the person that helped me with my designs and stuff, I couldn't have, I didn't have money to pay him immediately, but he knows me. He knows the kind of person I am. He understood the vision of Silk Drip. He worked with me, and when the business grew after some months, I was able to do my payments to him. So uh, I would say that this is something that one should also leverage on yes don't um, beat yourself up or try to you know suffocate yourself with you know yes the dream is big yes but, but don't let it suffocate you learn to glide with it easily so i leverage on friends and families i did my own research i invested time in it yes and so far so good it has been wonderful results just yesterday i still got a review when if a client a client that got the product as a Valentine gift was telling me that I have put aside all my other lip products. You already have a customer in me. I said something. I said, you don't have to put yourself under pressure. So what did I do? I started by producing little quantity, as low as 50 pieces, then 100. Then we started growing like that, 300, then just gradually. So I... But let me put this out there for someone that also wants to start a makeup line. Don't um, put yourself under a lot of pressure saying, I need one, even one million is a lot of money, yes. Don't say, I need one million to start, no. I'll say, do your research and start with the minimal amount and quantity you can start with. When you do that, from that you begin to grow up on the ladder. But 
trust me, you don't need to break a bank to start your makeup line or to even build your makeup um, industry, your, your makeup career. Trust me, you don't. The price range of my product is um, 1,500 Naira to 2,500 Naira. Okay, and um, the first products we have is our lip prep. Our lip prep is, let me say, it's a lip balm in form of a liquid form. So it's actually for male and female. It has two, two formulas. We have the minty fresh, which is the clear one, and we have the strawberry burst which is the um the one that looks like the one that has a tint of pink to it but it's actually for the male and female because it's a lip prep it helps to prep your lip before applying your matte um liquid products on it um for me um i capped my liquid lipstick and my lip gloss at 2500 naira because i want people to be able to um get access to it for a makeup line trust me it is very profitable if you can do your sourcing well and get your products at average average price average prices rather it is very it's very pro profitable right now the way the world is you know is it's not all your products you need to you know build from scratch because i don't produce here in nigeria so you just have what you want your specification how you want it to be and you know from that they put your your um, everything together and you get a good result if i would advise someone coming in into the makeup um, industry i would say you need to have a lot of patience um, because the social media you know noise is everywhere don't try to go ahead of yourself you know when you go online if you're if you're like me you know that most of the things i view online and makeup stuff especially on instagram you know once you open your your instagram the feed is one makeup artist doing a smashing makeup and you're like hey when and you're putting yourself under pressure please you don't need that for me i'd say take it one step at a time and make sure you are passionate about it don't come into the industry because someone told you that ah you need to make money fast fast no or someone told you that i'm doing it please join me no go into it because you are passionate about it because that is what will keep you going because trust me there are a lot of challenges in this industry so go into it first have the passion for it when you go into it with that passion when the challenges come you'll be able to walk over it you'll be able to press on so that's my advice for someone you know who wants to you know come into the makeup industry and you know start a business of his or her own my final words will be that um, it's never too late to start what you have in mind. Um, I started my makeup um, career when I was almost 30 years old. So um, if I looked, because if you look at the industry now, girls of under 30, they are the one <laughs> doing well in this industry. You see some, some makeup artists celebrating their bodies and be like, really? She's this young? Do you understand? But, you know, I was, uh, for me, I'll just say it's never too late to start. Because if I didn't start then, I wouldn't have all these achievements I have. So whatever I want to do, be it in the makeup industry or anything, start now. It's never too late. Thank you very much.